let's get right to it this is about gitcoin passport and how to go about it but before we start i'm going to tell you why gitcoin passport is important now i'm pretty sure a lot of you have heard about bots in the in the internet you know different different platforms have bots you've encountered bots while playing your games um call of duty you've encountered bots you've you've been able to create bots using telegram you've been able to create bot response and all that stuff anything that can work on the internet can um, have a bot created out of it now um web3 doesn't like bots there are a lot of bots that um wallets can be programmed to act like bots to to carry out random tasks you know and um have bot like um, tendencies so you have one person can have like 500 wallets maybe farming airdrops farming various um stuff and you know at the end of the day when airdrops come you have one person being able to claim 500 wallets so gitcoin passport is a unique it's sort of like not like what it is a passport it's an identifier it shows that this person is this wallet is connected to this person you know so it's a human being that's using this um wallet now it's important because um a lot of projects are going to be um integrating gitcoin passport for example this is zk sync's era ga, um, guild guild and you can see here verified level two you must have um a gitcoin passport with 20 score with a score of 20. um this is ir labs ir labs has a hackathon um coming on and i encourage you if you're a developer you know actually um, um getting on this hackathon it's a game five project um i think i'll, I'll add the links to the video and then here yeah, eligibility criteria um, number three is participants must possess a gitcoin passport i think a score of 10 you can work with a score of, i'm not sure but i think it's, you can work with a score of 10 to participate in this hackathon now we're going to see more projects more projects requiring that you have a gitcoin passport because we want more real users in web3 um than um bot users and let's go to gitcoin um, gitcoin.co i'm pretty sure you guys already know about gitcoin now git is the sort of like the number one um funding tool in the web3 ecosystem launch um, public goods projects on on um, gitcoin and for you to have your donations matched you need to have gitcoin passports usually a score of 20 is what you get your donations matched so if you are donating a dollar to a project um it means that from the pool uh, depending on how much is in that project your donation will be matched with a higher amount to the uh, the project that is seeking a grant another thing you also know about you know gitcoin is that when you donate it sort of gets you eligible for for new for new projects so um g20 is coming so guys get ready to donate to different projects especially to borderless when you see borderless projects all right so let's let's get to the passports so first thing you want to do is get metamask if you don't have metamask just download then if you're using your mobile copy this link passport.gitcoin.co and put it in your um, browser for metamask on mobile or iom token and there's something called stamps um what the stamps are they are sort of like um you know you know when you have your normal international passport and you have your name that's an identifier right so think of that name as a stamp you have your age date of birth think of that date of birth like is as a stamp this is just one of my wallets so i think my score here my score here is 12.1 my other wallet i have 20. i can get this to 20 also because i haven't connected some things but this this is my um score for this one so yeah i was talking about stamps so i was talking about your normal passport and how you have different identifiers your name your age your local government um state of origin and then you have you have also your number you know and all so those are identifiers now for the stamps these different things are called identifiers now your ethereum activity you need to verify how much you know work have you done in, in ethereum as far as staking using different platforms so when you click it you see here um it'll tell you the different points that you've you've gained and all that stuff 
Um, so let's let's just try this out and see what happens. So I go F enthusiasts. I want to, I'm just want to verify and see which if this wallet um, would have all of these points. So you can see for an F enthusiast, if you if you so some of the activities you've done on chain would would determine if you're an Earth enthusiast or pioneer. So you see success. Um, successfully verified at data points. So let's go back. So that's that has gotten yet. Yeah, you see that has gotten my point up to fourteen point seven five. Now I can stake GTC. GTC is the token for Gitcoin. GTC is the token for for Gitcoin. I can stake GTC on this wallet and it will give me this point on Gitcoin Passport. I can also connect my GitHub. I can connect um, my Twitter. I can connect if I have an ENS domain name, it gives me, you know, Gitcoin passport of this. So all of all these things, if I connect my lens profile, if I connect my um I could check for Git membership roles. I think I have some, but I'm not sure it's with this wallet. I can connect my LinkedIn. Um so they are both web two web two activities and um they are both web two connections you can make. So even if you don't have, if you've not done anything in web three at all, you can still get your Gitcoin passport score to be at least ten. Say for example, Twitter is three point two six eight. Um, Google is one, so that let's say that, let's say that's four. Um, Discord is zero point seventy one. <laughs> so low. Um, GitHub is seven. Cool. So. This GitHub, GitHub alone and Twitter gets you a point of 10, you know, which is actually cool. At least you could use that for the IRLabs um, hackathon. So I think I think that's it. So all you just need to do is come here and connect. For example, say I want to connect my LinkedIn. All I need to do is click connect, take you to my LinkedIn. I just select this and then I click on verify. And yeah, it will open LinkedIn. I just need to do follow the prompt. That's all that I'm going to, going to need to do. Um, same thing with your Google. You can you can do that. Same thing with your um, other platforms. Now, because of the kind of activities I've had on this on this wallet, um, I've I've donated um, to different Gitcoin events. So. That's what this is for, and it's verified because I've done some of other things that you can see at least one grant, at least 10 grants. I've not done up to 25 yet, at least 100 grants you get. So, all of this contributes to my passport score. I've, this wallet has been snapshotted for, yeah, it's voted on two or more DAO proposals. So, these are real on chain activities that you need to get on. This wallet also has done stuff on ZK Sync Lights, and yeah. This wallet has some NFTs, so number of points gate is 0 0.771. So all these show that I am like this is a real human being using this. If if the reason for Gitcoin passport is so if you were a bot, you would have to do all of all these things for those bots to be to be eligible for certain airdrops and all. Um, so the idea of Gitcoin passport is to make it harder for civil hacker. For civil attacks so think of bots like when you hear civil in the three think of civil like bots so that's that's it if you have any questions then you can leave a comment or you can come to my twitter this is me i'm carl god um you can send me a message you can please hit the follow button and follow me send me a message if you have any questions whatsoever so this is it's pretty simple how to get on Bitcoin, Bitcoin passport. Thank you. Bye.